Hey Danielle, what did you think of class today? Uh, I, I really don't know. I was playing on my phone for most of it. You weren't the only one. I had some time after class and I made a pie chart of the activities going on in class. Huh, interesting. So there was a whole total of 25 people and then I saw one person asleep. There was 10 people on their cell phone and there was 14 <laughs> people taking notes. So, what percentage of people were taking notes? Well, you would have to count how many people were taking notes and take that over the total uh, amount of people in class. So, I would do 14 over 25. And that would equal 56%. Wow, that's really low. <laughs> what do you think would happen if the internet went out? Well, I would hope that more people would get off their phones, so the people on their phones would decrease, and hopefully the number of people taking notes would increase. Hopefully. <laughs> Who knows? I might be one of those people that fall asleep. <laughs> hopefully not. So then, do you need the notes from class? Yeah, I really don't know what we were talking about today. We were talking about circuits. Huh, interesting. So, how, how do they work? Well, you have a source of voltage, and you have a path that electrons can flow around. Okay. And then you might have different loads on the circuit, such as resistors or other things. So what's the difference between these two? Well, this is a series circuit, and this only has one path that electrons can flow around. And you can see the path. The electrons flow from negative to positive around the path. Then, this other one is a parallel circuit. There's multiple paths an electron can flow around. They can flow down here or over here. Interesting. So what does this uh, I mean here? I is the current, and to figure that out, we use Ohm's law, which is voltage equals current times resistance. Interesting. So if I wanted to calculate the current in uh, the series circuit, how would I do that? Because there are two resistors here. Good thing you asked, because a series circuit, the total resistance, you just add up the resistance. Interesting. So how does it differ from the parallel? Well, in parallel, since there's multiple ways to go about, you can use the R, the R total is equal to 1 over the resistance plus the other 1 over the resistance. Cool. Thank you very much for these notes. I'll definitely start paying attention in class more. <laughs> okay.